it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my Thursday Night Live. This is Thursday night, May the 8th, and it is 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're watching the replay, I sure hope I inspire you, and I hope that um, you learn a thing or two and that you fall in love with this bundle that I'm going to share. Uh, it is called Timeless Arrangements from Stampin' Up. It is brand new, and I think, I think it's like pushed its way up to the first one on my list right now. I am having so much fun with this bundle. So I want to say hello to everyone who has joined in the chat during the live. Um, I was over there just chatting away. I love to scroll back up and read and see how people are doing. Uh, Kate Wright was in Hawaii. I am getting ready to go to Norway. <laughs> um, yeah, Kate Wright and I just love the beach. She and I are just we're like beach soul sisters or something. Um, I think we have the same love of, of going to the beach. I want to say hello to my friend, uh, Michelle Batson. She is my helper during the lives. Um, I, I try really hard to read the comments and make the project and something goes haywire. So to keep me from going going rogue, as I always say. Um, Michelle is there to help guide you to um, anything that you might have a question about, my website, my blog, things like that. Um, all you have to do is type the at sign and start typing Michelle's name. And when you see Michelle Batson, click that and then she will see your message. So as we are waiting for people to find us, uh, let's see, Inika says Thursday the 8th, it's Friday 2 a.m. <laughs> the 12th. I'm so sorry. What is today? What is today? Today is the eleventh. <laughs> where, where did I lose the days at? Good gosh, how funny! Um, maybe I should have a calendar in front of me when I'm talking. I don't know. Um, I thought that just really blows my mind. Um, I've just been so busy all day packing and gathering clothes and things because. This beach gal just went to the beach and now she's going to go where it's cold and rainy. <laughs> okay. Let's flip the camera around. Uh, let's see. All right. Just want to say, I want to say hello to Sue and Renee and Debbie Zyke, Jeannie Brown. Um, and then we have Annika is in the Netherlands. That's why it's the 12th for her. It's tomorrow morning in the wee hours. So here is the card that I'm going to make um, tonight, but we're going to change it up because um, I, because I am. <laughs> here is the inside. I did decorate the inside. <clears throat> the stamp set is called Timeless Arrangements. And what I love so much about it is there are so many words that all can kind of work together. So for example, just can't enough is on one stamp. Just can't thank you enough. Um, it, I just, I just love it. I love how they have, have used so many of the greetings. And then we have the simple little images um, that all have coordinate. No, these have coordinating dies. Um, so speaking of the dies, the dies are also called timeless arrangement. And there's a bunch of them. Okay. So they're the dies um, themselves almost remind you of like a small greeting. You could actually stamp on this part. Let me turn it over. Maybe you could see it. Um, that's going to be a piece of cardstock and you could actually stamp there with some of those tiny words. It works just saying. So this could actually be your greeting layer slash die cutting. Just saying. All right. So on Tuesday, um, if anybody is on, well, Renee is on the team. On Tuesday, um, we had a team stamp along with some other demonstrators. And this is the bundle that we featured. So there was four leaders that did, um, did the stamp along. And that was, um, uh, they, everybody did two cards. Okay. So by the time it was all over with, we had eight cards from that stamp along. Okay. It showed me really, really even more so how much the, um, the stamp set has potential. It has potential to just do all kinds of things. 
So it is on page 67 in the annual catalog. You can also find it on my website. Um, but when you're looking at it here in the catalog, um, you can kind of see uh, there's a couple of little samples. Okay, this one doesn't have any samples, but there's a couple of samples. However, if you turn to the back, wah -huh, there's some more samples. Okay, this one right here. And so when I was kind of looking through, you know, I could look through this catalog a hundred times and still find something new. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, we're going to change tonight's card. Mm -hmm. So I happen to have the stencils. Uh, these are called artistic, artistic mix decorative masks, not stencils. Um, I happen to have the one that they used on this card. But my colors are going to be different because I'm sticking to the colors I'd already planned. Okay. Um, so we're going to, we're just going to change it up. We're just going to have fun. My husband said tonight, so what are you doing tonight? I go, having fun, <laughs> uh, making a card, having fun. Anyway, it was super cute. So y'all can see we've got some, some images, some die cuts. We've got our greeting. Um, and then we have this, um, the mask. Is that what they called it? I called it a stencil, um, the mask, uh, with a, um, ooh, can't see it with a blending brush. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with that idea because I already have a card. that looks like this. Let's change it up. Okay. Let's see. All right. I was trying to see, there I go again. I was trying to read the comments and I needed to stay focused. <laughs> need to stay in my lane here. All right. I think I do need to grab, let me just grab a piece of, yeah, we'll do that. We're stampers. We know we make a mess. I don't quite need that yet. Before I forget, you guys, you need to mark your calendars. Um, the Creative 8 Retreat, you need to save the dates. It is July 21st through the 22nd. And early bird registration will be here before we know it. <laughs> it will be June the 23rd. So look at me. I'm all prepared. I've got everything all cut and ready. Um, I, I played with, and oh, I bet I threw it away. Yeah, I did. Here it is. I played with different colors of ink to use. Now I am using the pretty pecan pie cardstock. Now you may say pecan, I say pecan. There you go. So that's the color of the cardstock. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The colors of the cardstocks simply do not look the same when I take a picture or when, when you see it in the catalog. So I'm hoping that on camera, yeah, it looks pretty good on camera, that it is a true pecan pie color. Now, pecan pie is my favorite, favorite pie. If y'all ever want to send me something, send me a pecan pie. Just kidding. All right, so I played with different colors. This was crumb cake on it. Not bad. Um, let's see. Renee says, that seems like great dyes to use your scraps instead of throwing them in a box. Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all don't be throwing your scraps in a box. You either use them or just throw them away. Throw them away. Um, and then I used, uh, this one was copper clay. And then I settled on pecan pie. I think that's, I think that's our winner. It's just going to be tone on tone. So it was kind of fun just playing with different colors. Okay. So I do want to be light handed with it though. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want it to be too dark and I'm not going to do it all over. I mean, it kind of looked like they, they kind of skipped and missed, if that makes sense. Um, Sue says, thank you for saying pecan. It looks like, it looks like from Lancastrians who say, we, who say pecan. Yeah. So I'm just going to tap a little bit. I'm going to, Ooh, that is dark, 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 dark. So I just kind of want to, I'm just going to kind of tap that off because I'm going to do some stamping. Okay. I don't, I don't want it to be too dark. Uh, that might be too dark. We're just playing. We're, I told my husband, we're going to play tonight. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So the trick is to kind of tap it off. And then I'm, I'm lightly putting it on. Now, I am a heavy-handed artist. <laughs> I, I stamp heavy-handed. I um, use... That's my problem with the liquid glue. I decided I'm too heavy-handed with things, so I make a mess with the liquid glue sometimes. Okay. I think, though, that I do want to come in over here. Um, I'm not liking just that really bare spot. Just kind of like that. Yep, yep, yep. So fun. Um, oh, Inika says she manages to move the masks. Okay, if that's a challenge, we just take, I just want to line that up. Whoops. Put a post-it note there, some washi tape, just whatever. Just going to kind of tap that out. Okay, a little darker, but that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Okay, so now we're going to do our stamping. Now I have um, some other, I'm going to show you guys the cards that we made for the team stamp along. I'm not going to be stamping those. But then, oh, she says it moves even with tape on them. Well, hon, I don't know what to tell you then. Um, I have decided that we're going to make a card together, and you guys are going to help me. So don't leave me after I'm done stamping, because I'm going to ask you, a this or that kind of thing? Do you want me to use this or that? And we're going to make a card together, okay? All right. So where is my card? Oh, there it is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp some images. Oh my word. I love it even more. I love it even more. I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use, uh, nope, sticking with, um, this is actually, uh, yeah, this is the pecan pie. Uh, let's see. I just want a few stamped images, okay? Um, kind of makes a mess, but in the end, it's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to do some more stamping. I'm going to go ahead and stamp. See, I have all my pieces here. We're going to stamp the piece on the inside. Yep. And we're going to stamp our greeting. Okay. So your kindness. Doo -doo -doo. Yep. We're going to stamp that in pecan pie. You know, no one in my family loves pecan pie. I never get it. Isn't that sad? Because <laughs> I'm not going to cook a pie and then eat the whole thing. Absolutely not. Because I would. And that's not what I want to do. All right. Your kindness means everything to me. And then what did we stamp on the inside? Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to stamp. And just whoops. I think I stamped my arm. Yep. Look at that. See? <laughs> That's what happens. Got to keep these things in front of me. Keep my eyes on those stamps. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So thank you. And then I stamped my images at the bottom. I'm going to put you over here. Hi, Cynthia. How are you this evening? Um, okay, so now I want, oh, got to clean my stamp, but we'll go ahead and stamp some of the images here. I mean, those of y'all who know me, you know I love bold stamps, bold words, bold images. And honestly, this is not really, it, this isn't a stamp set I don't think I would have just bought. If the stamp along organizer demonstrators hadn't said, 
oh, this is the one we're using. I'm like, fine. <laughs> Can't we use something? No. We used in colors and we used the step set. I'm so glad they did. I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm just cleaning my stamp off camera um, so that I can use it with Pretty Peacock. Okay. So Pretty Peacock is a returning color and I love this color. I used to have a dress, this color that my mother-in-law bought me. And I was so sad when that dress was finally had seen better days, um, but it was this color. And so I've always loved Pretty Peacock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I want another one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to move that so I do not stick my arm in that one. Okay, all done with the stamping. Um, let's see. Yeah, I was expecting bad weather today. Um, it has, the, the forecast shows like the worst weather for the next week. And I, I, I don't get it. I mean, we need the rain. I get that part. But man, that's a lot of rain. But today is gorgeous. Okay, so I have my layers. Now, this was the layer I was going to use. But now we're going to use this one. And I have this one. And then I have all these pieces cut out. Huh. Aren't you glad? Because it would take a long time to die cut all of these um, in front of y'all. Okay. Now, I probably have a little too much, but that's okay. I want to show you a trick I learned after the, um, turn this around, after we did the stamp along. Now, you know, when you're on my team, we try to do fun things like that. So if you consider becoming a demonstrator, you should become an, a demonstrator on my team because you never know what we're going to come up with. Okay, so, mm -hmm, yep, I'm going to take, oh, okay, so back to the story. We were doing these on, um, yeah, 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 we were doing these, that's what I'm going to do, um, and I was just adhering them to the back of my greeting layer and they were all crooked. Mm -hmm. So this is an old Stampin' Up staple gun. You could use any staple gun. I'm going to staple the pieces together because then when I put them on, they're going to be straight. Huh. I made another card using this bundle and that's what I did. Let's see. Do I want that? I don't want it behind. That's the questions. Do you want it behind? Do you want it in front? Nope, I do. I want it in front. Okay. Um, but yeah, just staple it. Makes it easy. Okay. And I don't think I use these pieces. We'll see. We'll come back to y'all. All right, let me get my greeting layer. And you are using that cool dyes. They are on my list. Debbie Aldridge, you're going to get them, girl. I'm telling you. I have had the best time with these dies. Uh, I mean, look, I'm going to make a lot of cards. <laughs> Not tonight, but I'm going to make a lot of cards. All right. So I'm just adding um, the adhesive on the back. And then what you do is you just take this. I want this to be on the bottom. I'm going to stick those to the bottom. I'm going to stick these to the top. And look how easy that is now that I've stapled them all together. What do you think, Renee? Is that better than what we were doing? A little bit crooked. Hold on, let me move that down. But because they're stuck together, it makes it so easy. Not that anyone's going to see the back. I mean, come on. Nobody's going to see the back. But um, I, just, I just loved it. Okay, so now we're going to take this to our card front and we're going to decide what else do we need to do? I think we're good. I, I do have some more pieces that I can use, but I think I like, let me show you my card. See, I think I like the fact that, oh, I know I did have, I had that piece. I didn't cut that. Had a little bit of those. Had those squiggly things. But um, I think I love 
I do love, not I think, I love the fact that I have, yeah, we're going to add these, um, that I have put the mask down. Much better with the mask, says Kay. I agree. I agree with you. I think it's just super fun. And, and the fun thing is, is that I can just make this as full as I want just by adding more to it. Okay. Let's put, I think both of these are the same. Yep. Let's put our card together. Kate says, I have the one with the mass, mass decoration. Oh, you love the one. Yes, I do too. I do too. It just, you know, I love this card. But when I started taking pictures, remember, let's go back to that sub, uh, conversation. I didn't like how it looked on the camera. I was like, you're not as pretty. <laughs> you got to be pretty. They won't love it if you're not pretty. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. Um, the other color that's hard to take pictures of is the wild wheat. Um, and we decided that when wild wheat is near green, it takes on a green hue. Um, if it's near like uh, crushed curry, it takes on a yellow hue. So it's, it's kind of a, all right. What is the animal that changes uh, a chameleon? Is that the one animal critter? Okay. I, Mm -mm. I can't use those colors. I was thinking I need something right there, but that's okay. We're good. We're, we're fine. It's all fine. It, this, these dyes, the greenery, I mean, think of even cutting them with pinks and blues and greens. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Okay. So let's put our middle piece in. I've got another layer here. I do not have a download for y'all tonight because the card is so simple. Um, you know, as I'm preparing to go on my trip, a chameleon changes colors. Thank you, Margaret. Um, I, you know, some things you just have to kind of let go so that you don't become stressed. The trip won't be fun for me if I'm stressed, right? Okay. There's our card. Love it. And the inside. And so the difference is they're both pretty cards. Lemon lolly with any color. Lemon lolly is lovely. Say that three times. Okay. All right. So let me show you. I'll show you first the cards that we made for the stamp along. And this is using uh, Moody Mauve and Boho Blue. Okay, I just can't thank you enough. Remember, I told you about that. Kind of did the same thing. I did my stamping and then I added my um, die cut leaves. And then in here, um, I actually used uh, the Simply Scored or you could use your paper trimmer uh, with the score blade to add some lines. I don't think you can see that, but it's the lines like on here. Okay, there we go. Oh, y'all love the card. Thank you. And then here's my other card that I made on the stamp along using um, wild wheat and copper clay. I remembered. And then they asked on the on the training, um, what about the who did anybody stamp envelopes? So I did. So we gotta have no naked envelopes, they said. So here we go. There's my envelope. Okay. Um now we are going to make our card together. I need to clean up my stamps. And I can't wait to see what y'all design. Yeah. I knew this card would not take me long. And I was like, but I want to keep playing with this, <laughs> with this bundle. So what can I do? And so I came up with this idea and I think you're going to love it. My stamps. Let's clean these up. Um, I, I love the stamp and scrub. We've talked about that. Do we love the chamois? Do we prefer the chamois or do we prefer um, the uh, stamp and scrub? I prefer the stamp and scrub because I feel like I can wash and dry my stamps without getting my hands, you know, yucky, any yuckier than you get when you're stamping. Um, and sometimes with the simple chamois, I do get my hands yucky. Um, maybe I just, maybe it's user error. I don't know. 
Okay, are we ready to do this? So these are the colors that we're using, okay? We have, and let me show you how I got these colors. Now I will, I will put this, I will try to do this after the live. Don't hold me to it. If it's not there when you go look on my blog, um, then you need to uh, check again. But I will download, I will have this download for you. Now these are the color charts. I prefer to leave mine whole and laminate them. Um, but it is the colors for uh, uh, helping you decide what colors go together. So Mossy Meadow, Wild Wheat, and Pebbled Path. Those are my colors. And they're very pretty together. I don't think I would have picked those out. So technically what you can do, though, is you can download these. And there are dotted lines that you can cut them apart and put them on a, th on a big ring jumper thing. I just like to have mine like this. I don't know. It's just easier for me. Okay. So we have our ink colors. Okay. We've got Pebbled Path. So you will be able to find that in the tutorial store. Um, and ha, ah, I think I only have like one more adhesive bag left. If anybody wants that, you have to get it before tomorrow because I'm going to shut it off so that nobody orders while I'm gone to Norway. Okay, so here's our choices. We've played with the idea. Let's get our let's get our sample out here. We've played with the idea of changing it up and using the uh, uh, mask. Okay, Debbie says I made the color swatch books for myself and my team. That way you can go through them to see them. Yes, yes. Chamois takes up a lot less room. Yes, um, I put my chamois in one of the uh, stamp cases. So I pulled out three embossing folders. Um, and these are the ones that are on the um, online exclusive list. Um, it is the basic 3D embossing folders. And um, oh, good. Margaret does the same thing. So I'm not the only one that does that. There you go. OK, um, these were out of stock for a while, but they are back. Um, I think so. Here's the thing. I was like, well, I'm going to ask them. Do you want me to use an embossed piece of very vanilla or do you want me to use a plain piece of very vanilla? So I'm putting the comment. Do you want plain very vanilla? Do you want plain or embossed? Okay. Um, Jeanette says TX Stampin mentioned a group that decided on the stamp set to use for a group. Oh, oh okay. Um, so um, my team is called Stamping Friends Forever. Those who join Stampin' Up and are under me are on my team. There were four leaders. There was four other, three other demonstrators, and we invited all of our teams to uh, uh, join us on a private uh, stamp along link. Um, on Tuesday. So we told them what supplies we were using ahead of time and they could order those items and stamp along with us. Okay. That's what I was talking about. Okay. So embossed, embossed, embossed. How did I know y'all were going to say embossed? How did I know that? All right. We'll leave the plain one. Okay. So now your choices are, please pick polka dots. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this one's called, like the cross hatch. And then this one I think looks like um, starfish. I don't know. So stars, cross, or polka dots? Which ones? Um, Cindy says she hasn't received her adhesive package yet. Really? You should. Um, Cindy, can you send me a email and let me look into that? Uh, cross hatch, polka dots, polka dots, 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 dots. Oh, dots it is. Thank y'all. <laughs> I at least let you say which one you wanted. I just think they're so pretty. They're so, um, embossed, raised. I just love them. Okay. Not that I, you know, coerced you or anything, but I, I kind of did. Okay. So I was going to stamp these, um, in front of you and everything. I was like, nah. You guys, um, first I stamped them on basic white, and then I went back and stamped them on very vanilla, okay? Because I think, let me just hold it up. 
I prefer the very vanilla blending in and not the stark white. I don't know. It's just a thing. I like vanilla with vanilla and white with white. So you could do it either way. Um, but I, you know, I don't give very vanilla enough love these days. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we have in the die set, there are actually three rectangles that you can cut out. Where's my dies? Here they are. So it's big, medium, small. So you tell me which one am I choosing? Big, medium, or small? Uh, can y'all see those? And just so you remember, this one is the medium one. Okay. So big, medium, or small? Type it in the chat and I will decide. That will base on what, um, on which words I pick. Very vanilla does go well with those colors, don't you think? I thought so too. I was like, oh, I started cutting everything white and everything. I was like, no, 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 no. Vanilla. Medium, 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 medium it is. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to take one of each. And I cannot wait to see this come together. I cannot. Ugh, can't stand it. So another thing. Let's see if I can show you this. Um, they kind of look like, well, these are the same size. So when they're kind of this, never mind, never mind, D just ignore me. <laughs> um, I'm going to put the green next to the vanilla. Okay. I'm just going to straighten these up a little bit. And I'm going to kind of pull this out a little bit. So you just kind of move them around the way you want. Okay. So I am using three this time. And I'm going to get my stapler. So I heard quite a few comments when I did. I don't know if you, if everybody's not on Facebook, you didn't see it, but I posted a, a thing about the live. I'm going to go live tonight. And I actually had a picture of my setup with everything on the table. And it was just a little skinny picture and everybody went nuts. I got messages. Oh my gosh. I love your setup. Oh y'all look what I did. Ah, shoot. That's fine. So it's fine. It's, it's all fine. It's gonna, I was wanting to use these with the other ones, but it's all good. It's all fine. I'm telling you Did I tell you it's fine. Um, yep. Um, oh, Michelle has been finding herself using very vanilla more. We need to give it some love. Shame on me for not doing it. Okay, so we're going to staple these together. Wish they would make the dies without the white border itself. I know, Renee. I know. I, I have been known to take my scissors and cut it off because <laughs> I know. I feel that. Okay, so we have... We have some flowers. We have our, our greenery. Let's move this out of the way. Now we're going to pick the greeting. And what am I feeling? Hmm. On the... On this medium piece. I think, it, you know, we talked about this too. It's hard to read these sometimes. Um, here we go. Here we go. Uh, going rogue, Cynthia. Absolutely, girl. You know, next on, on Mystery Monday, I'm going to be making an announcement, um, about something that's coming. And I, I, can't, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep a secret. Do I have more ink over here? No, it's over here. Sometimes it's just hard for me to keep a secret. And I'm like, I can't tell them. I can't tell them. next week. There's going to be something coming. And you guys, you guys, you've got it. You've got it. You've got to come. <laughs> I am having so much fun planning this. It's going to be in, De it's going to be in June. I'm trying to find a block. Oh, that's kind of big. That's okay. But you guys, you watch my, if you're on my newsletter, you're going to get it first there. Um, I, um, 
I don't want anybody to miss it. So if you're not on my newsletter, you need to look below the video and join my newsletter list before Wednesday the 17th to get in the scoop. Okay, so now we're going to choose what ink color we have. Do we want pebble, mossy, or wild wheat? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Um, Debbie is asking for a hint. The hint is because I'm going to be gone for so long, y'all are going to miss out on two mystery stampings and one live. And I know y'all are going to miss me. So well, that's your hint. <laughs> I'm going to throw a party instead. Mossy, pebble, 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 mossy. Oh, there's a wild wheat. Wild wheat. Um, I'm thinking pebble. We're going to go with pebble. Pebble, I think, I think I'm, I, I know I'm loving this color. I'm loving it. Okay, let's get... Let's stamp this. Hmm. <laughs> yep. I got an idea. I'm going to stamp this off to the rat. And it says, I really appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you supporting my, my Stampin' Up! business. I appreciate you supporting my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel and you're just finding this video, I hope that I inspire you. I hope I help you. I would be honored if you would subscribe and then uh, ring that little bell and you'll be notified the next time I go live or uh, upload a video. Normally, I just go live these days. We like that. So I'm thinking we need a stamp, but that's kind of big for there. Thinking, I'm thinking we need a stamp. Well, let's do this one. We know it'll fit. Um, and since y'all asked for, let's do Mossy Meadow. Now nah, let's do Wild Wheat. <coughs> um, no, Sue, it's not that announcement. Not that kind of party yet. There'll be a party when I hit my million. I promise. Aw, oh, Cynthia, thank you. I love y'all too. I... I just, I just have fun doing this, you know? Um, so I'm going to stamp this in wild wheat. Okay. That's pretty. And then let's do some coloring. We're just creating as we go. This kind of looks like wheat, huh? Actually, I said the other day that I could turn this into a Texas blue bonnet. It's kind of sort of like this. Oh my gosh, we've got the best picture. I told, I told my daughter that I wanted her to frame that for me and give it to me for Mother's Day. <laughs> Here in Texas, we take the babies and we put them in a field of blue bonnets. Baylor and crew did not want to have anything to do with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I, I, I have laughed. I, I see the picture in my head. We've got Baylor holding crew behind, you know, in front of him and crew is just crying, just crying. And then Baylor just lets him go and they both just fall over. And that was the picture. <laughs> I said, I want that picture framed. <laughs> okay. Let's put this, these layers together. And this is going to be so exciting to see how this turns out. Um, what do I do with my adhesive? Tell me it's right here. Okay, under the silicone mat that we need anyway. Um, uh, Kay has done the dog. The dog's in the blue bonnet. <gasps> Why didn't I take Pippi? Oh my gosh. And the blue bonnets have lasted a long time this year, haven't they, Kay? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Okay, I want these. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this where I want it, and then if I need to trim off this, I can. Gonna need to trim that off. Kate, I, I'm gonna ask her if I can post it. It's hysterical. You know, when it's my grandkids, I have to kind of get permission. But if it was my kids, I'd post it. Anyway, all right. So now we're gonna do you know, a little bit more adhesive back here. 
And I just, I mean, look how full this is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, put this here. Ugh. Y'all, look at those colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Got to have some dimensionals. Um, Debbie says, I'm going to be gone two weeks. I'm going to be gone 10 days on my trip. We're going to England first, and then we're getting on the cruise ship. And um, let's put this together. I didn't get a base. Ugh, what color base for our card? Okay. Y'all tell me. Wild wheat. Oh, we didn't add our flowers. Um, so I'll be gone for 10 days. And when I come back, it'll be Memorial Day. So that's the second mystery stamping that we won't have. We got to add these. I'm going to pop these up here. Ooh, we got to put that in there. Would y'all like to see what I'm doing? <laughs> and I'm sticking it to the dimensional. Oops, didn't take off the backing yet. I almost forgot. I wanted to look, 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 look how fun. Look how fun. Okay. And then this one. Oh, let's take all the dimensional packs off. So y'all, okay. Y'all are voting. You want Mossy Meadow, Pebble, Pebble. Uh, Barbie says, hi, my daughter and a couple of friends are going to Egypt for 10 days. Oh, how incredible is that? Let's see. Do I want this here? No, we're going to put it down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's stick it. Just tucking it there. Oops. There we go. And then this one. There. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. Look how gorgeous. Yeah. If y'all don't get this bundle, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm never speaking to y'all again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. All right. Wild wheat, pebble, pebble, pebble. I'm seeing a lot of wild wheat. We're going to grab wild wheat. And I think I'm going to make the decision that we're gonna cut it four and a quarter by 11. And then we're gonna score it at five and a half. Just doing that off camera because we're running out of room. <laughs> running out of room. Okay, and y'all know my trick if you don't. Um, I like to take and put a piece of paper over. Let's move these out of the way. Uh, to do my burnishing, um, you know, if you've ever gotten that sheen on your cardstock from a bone folder, you know what I'm talking about. And so that takes that off. Um, I'm going to use some liquid glue. Yeah, Renee has this bundle. She asked me if we chose it for our, our team stamp along because she bought it. Now, I am not the best with liquid glue. We usually end up with it on our fingers, but on the stamp along, Julie did such perfect little lines. I was like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to get good as Julie. <laughs> All right. We're going to put this here. See, I still get it on my finger. See, see, I'm trying Julie, but it is not working. All right, it wasn't that much. Um, so, whoops. Y'all didn't tell me I took the backings off of my dimensionals. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's stuck to the paper. It's all good. Have a fantastic time on your trip. Take lots of photos. I will be taking photos, and I will be posting them on my business Facebook page and my personal Facebook page. So if we're friends on Facebook, you'll see them there. Um, if we're not friends, you can see them on my business page. I won't be accepting friend requests while I'm gone. I was wondering what if, I think I like it up there. 
I'm going to make an, an executive decision. Okay. I do have a piece of very vanilla that we can put on the inside. How are we doing on time? Wow, perfect. I'm not going to stamp on the inside of this one. You guys know, you guys know you could do that. Okay. I love y'all's card. Look at that. Look at that. I know, Kay. I wish I could have been in England for the coronation. I mean, I don't, I don't think I could have gone, but at least to be there and the excitement. I know, I know. Yeah, Rochelle, I always get glue on my fingers too. Um, okay, there we go. So that's the card y'all made with me. That's the card y'all made with me. Oh, that's y'all's card. This is my card. And then here is the card I originally made for tonight. Move these over. Okay, who fell in love with this bundle today? Who did it? I want to know in the comments. And then there's that one. Okay. I just love them. <sighs> And if you're coming to the retreat, you just might see me using it again. I am just saying. You just might see me. You might. I don't know. I may keep that for myself. I hope that you guys had a good time. I hope that you uh, enjoyed what I shared tonight. Um, I will be back on Monday, May 15th. Did I guess right? Did I do good? Um I will be back on Monday, May 15th for the last mystery stamping in May. I will be back for mystery stamping on June 5th. Now, doesn't that sound like a long ways away? Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous time while I'm gone. Um, I know you're going to miss me. I know you're going to miss me, but I'll be back. So make sure you watch for May 17th. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, guys.